I've always been interested in sports and then I found out that they was doing sports reporting so I thought it should be good and um, I'm doing media studies at school so that would tie into that as well so just interesting to me. It's all very well building youth centres, arts and sports facilities to encourage young people away from crime and violence but it's pointless if they don't use them. And that's why 250 experts have gathered from across the country here in Manchester to share ideas on how art projects, fishing, football, even business entrepreneur courses can be made relevant and appealing to young people. One project that's doing just that is Radio Waves, which is training these teenagers how to be sports reporters. I have interviewed lots of different um, people, like cricket players, and I've also like, learned how to um, edit sound instead of just video. How many of you are there that work on Radio Waves? At the moment, in Supporters to Reporter, there's 11, and then I think in the next phase, more students will come in and we'll be mentoring them on because we've already learned the skills, we'll help them learn. And there were some famous faces on hand to offer advice based on their experiences of growing up in Greater Manchester. I always just feel that sometimes when you do grow up on a council estate, you believe that that's it for you. And uh, I just, you know, I just like to, I just like telling the young people that 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 isn't it for you. You know, the the world is still your oyster, and because you've actually grown up on a council estate, it does make you a very strong individual because you have to learn to fend for yourself and fight for yourself. Ben Bland, Channel M News.